All right, guys, so we just made it about two hours north of San Diego. Uh, pretty excited for this one. Got the man from Black Widow. Yeah. Look at that. With the angry housewife banner. <laughs> Average construction truck. It's not hitting. It was inspired off of the Coors Bill Elliott, uh, the Coors Light car. Fifty third kids. <laughs> All right, guys. Good morning. So today is a very, very special day. We're up bright and early. You can see this. The moon is still out. <laughs> and uh, I'm heading up to meet up with Michael right now. We're gonna grab his truck and head up to Fontana, California. And today is a very special day. So let's get into it. Alrighty, should be fun. Nice new comfortable truck oh, with all the amenities. Crazy. Oh my god. Not <laughs> sitting here for 30 minutes trying to let it warm up. Yeah. <laughs> or starting. Trying to start it. <laughs> <laughs> Convinced the Falcon has the coolest race colors out there. Look at that. So cool. All right, guys, so we just made it about two hours north of San Diego. Uh, pretty excited for this one. So as you guys probably can tell by now, uh, one of the companies we're gonna be working with in 2023 is Falcon Tire. So we're up here picking up a set of tires for the town car. We're going out to King of the Hammers in about two days or so. So we're gonna do a prep, new wheels and tires. That was one of the biggest things I wanted to get on the car. So the guys at Falcon and Tire were super nice and willing to work with us this year. I'm super stoked to be working with such an amazing team of guys. You can't get over this race livery. It's super badass. It's iconic, everybody knows it. Kinda makes me wish I did that livery on the town car, but it's uh, nevertheless, it's gonna be super cool. So we're waiting for him to load up in the bed of the truck that we got. I'll show you guys all the stuff once it's in the bed. And we're gonna head back down to San Diego, grab the brand new wheels that are at the shop right now, go get the wheels and tires mounted up, and then cut the heck out of the town car to make sure they fit. This should be a pretty good ride, so let's get after it. Oh, I love the, love the smell of fresh rubber. That's a lot of rubber. Oh, Ready to burn some rubber? Gonna burn some rubber. And crack the barrel. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Got those things all loaded up. Gonna get the wheels loaded up. A lot done today. This thing's sick. Yeah. <laughs> right? No way it's stock, right? <laughs> oh my god, I'm jealous. Oh yeah, it's got an ice box in it. Yeah, no, it's stock. <laughs> construction truck. Get her done, brother. There's two 36 racks in there, <laughs> nice. Damn. Look, it's not stock. <laughs> we got the man from Black Widow, look yeah. at that. With the angry housewife banner. <laughs> that is the sickest freaking banner. <laughs> you know, with the curlers in her hair and the pan. Yeah. Just an angry, Angry housewife. Housewife at home. That is so sick. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh, we'll with definitely the, get that on the wall. With a little spatula in her hand. Yeah, that's so bitchin'. The pan, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Dang, big NASCAR guy. <laughs> big NASCAR guy. <laughs> I like it. Looks good. This thing's only weigh like 900 pounds a piece, huh? <laughs> big steel wheel. Oh, yeah. It's got some girth to her. I could see you in one of these. I just bought it, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this thing's pretty sick. Dude. Hell yeah. This guy's got skinnies on it. I, I, saw, I walked around the corner and I saw just the front, so I was like, damn, this right? dude's packing.
Well, gosh dang it, man. That looks like a damn NASCAR, doesn't it? Big NASCAR guy. Holy moly. That is so badass. They actually fit, too. I was worried that they were not going to fit on the car and I was going to have to cut the heck out of everything, but like realistically, in the back even, you can see it's... Like if I bottom it out, it's going to rub, so it's definitely going to have to get some modification in the future if I want to get full travel out of this thing, but I could definitely drive the car around like this and it won't have an issue. Even in the front, like this is mostly full lock. See, I got plenty of room in between the frame. It's not going to hit, but on this side, it's not hitting. <laughs> really close, but it doesn't hit, so... If I bump out at full lock, it's going to rub really bad. So I think the realistic solution is to put a good shock in it, and then I'm going to get in here, pull the wheel off, get in here, and absolutely just beat the snot out of this inside fender to make sure that I don't wreck these tires, because I really don't want to chunk these tires up very bad. Look at that thing. Proper NASCAR now. <laughs> Hell yeah. So now I'm going to work with the rears. The rears, these are, I'm mean, going from a 9.5 to a 10.5. So you might have noticed the width on these versus these. I'm definitely going to have to open up the trunk a little bit and actually measure this out. So pretty much what I'm going to do, open this up. I'm going to cut more of the tail light off, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully it fits in between my cooler. If anything, I'm going to shift everything over this way because I really can't make it my, my cooler any smaller. And just try to get the spares to fit because the whole goal is it has to have all six matching. That's really the biggest thing with this car, with the look. So I got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to go and pull this outside and start working on it. Alright, here comes the fun part of actually fitting the spare in. I already know they're not going to fit, because I didn't build these for a 1050. I built the whole back half of the car for a 9.5. Oh, it's definitely close. How to make brand new tires fit. Wow, oh, yeah, we can make that work. Alright, so you can see what we got going on right here is I basically just cut the mount off that was down on the bottom, raised it up 8 inches, pushed it I think forward like 3 inches. That allows the cradle to basically come up so you can see this thing won't really move forward and backwards anymore. So it does have a little bit of lateral movement now because there's not as much support on the side. But what I can do is I can actually grab a point on the body here and I can weld it right up to the front of this and make a little, little like kind of like a bike, bike you know, rack kind of dealio. But I think when I close the trunk it'll be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and replicate this on the other side and do the same thing. Hopefully I don't have as many issues because you can see the jack is literally right there. And uh, basically copy that and then I got to go ahead and make the trunk close. And that's going to probably be the most difficult part about the whole thing is actually making that close and not look terrible. And uh, cut this without, you know, destroying the paint because that's kind of important. So yeah, it should be fun. Big defect, kids. Hey guys, I just wrapped up the spare mount. You can kind of see what we got going on here. Two little kind of bike racks in there. It kind of holds the tire good. So I got to finish welding those and paint them. This thing now looks like an off-road NASCAR, so it's got to sound like one. So as you guys know, it's pretty much all stock drivetrain wise. This thing's still California legal 100%. I'm not even joking on that. Uh, it still has a, it's basically just dumped off the cats, comes back, and then it's just got a side exit. Nothing too crazy. So we have the Black Widow 6 inch neighbor hater. This is a 2.5 inch. Everything on there, there is 2 inch. So I'm going to go ahead and grab myself a 2 inch to 2.5 inch adapter, hack off the exhaust, hack off the tip, and then go ahead and get a 45, which I believe I might have, and just kind of basically make it go from 2 inch to 2.5. Black Widow neighbor hater, 45 it out the side. So it should look pretty good. should sound good. should give it an actual tone instead of that just straight pipe, you know, 4 6 sound. So it'll sound a little bit better, but yeah. I think the most nerve wracking part about this whole thing is cutting into a freshly painted car. Not really a fan of that part, but I don't really have much of a choice. All right guys, you can see it's all done. Looks pretty good. It's all mounted up in the back. They actually fit pretty well. Took a little bit more cutting. I have a little bit more space up there than I would have liked, but I'll just make a little rubber insert and then I'll get some liners to go around the edge and it'll look pretty good. So I think overall I'm pretty damn happy with that. 
but uh, you can definitely see how much I had to cut off. It was a pretty good amount, and it's very, very tricky cutting on fresh paint without destroying the paint. So I will have a little rubber trim piece that goes around, so any imperfections will be covered. I still need to put that thing on, and uh, I need to find out a place where to put this. It's ironic that I'm putting these on this car, but I've had them forever. But uh, I don't believe at the time that I'm allotted, I'm gonna be able to make this work, because this is gonna be a huge process, I can already tell. So I don't think this is worth putting these on. So I think we're gonna call it at doing the muffler, and I'll do that tomorrow when I get more welding gas, because I just ran out. So the car isn't 100%, like, in my opinion, done. It still needs carpet, it still needs dynamat, it still needs the exhaust, it still needs shocks. So in that sense, after that, it'll be definitely desert drivable before we do the long travel, and then after that's completely done, so. But for right now, I think for KOH, this will work. This will be plenty enough for me to drive it out there and drive it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap everything up and I'll catch you guys when we're leaving for KOH. All right, so this is our, I guess, version two, three, or however many I'm on at this point, of the town car. So you can see it's got a brand new set of wheels and tires on it, as well as a new black widow exhaust that I already broke. So this is the after. So this is what you're about to watch. So I'm really, really honored to be working with the guys over at Falcon. They were super cool and hooking us up with a set of AT3Ws. So this is a 31 10, 1050 15, uh, mounted on a set of Aero 15 by eight, and these fit awesome on the car. As you guys can see, I've already driven this. This is the after effect. You're about to watch all this stuff. So this is what has come after after the three days of driving, the new Black Widow exhaust down there that I already broke and destroyed. But uh, it's okay, it's worth it. It sounds awesome. It looks cool when I was driving up the, up the hills and getting it stuck in the rocks, but nevertheless, it, it came out really awesome. So we have a full set of six. They match, the spares match. Um, I really like it when I, I see a truck builder, a car builder, whatever, when the spares match on the back. They're not just two, you know, trash can takeoffs just mounted to the back. Like the spares are properly fitted for the vehicle. They all match, wheels, tires, and everything. So it was very important to me, being that we do have two full-size spares that they match. So, so as you guys know, this was inspired off of the Coors Bill Elliott, uh, the Coors Light car. Uh, from the 90s, the, the Thunderbird that he had. So the Coors Light would have been where my 909 Speed Company livery was, where Optima was would have been the, like, I think Motorcraft logo on that car. So the whole car was modeled after a NASCAR. That's the whole theme. So I kind of took the two ideas and merged them together and I wanted to build an off-road NASCAR, which is where you have here. So this is roughly, aesthetically, this is how it's going to stay. This is what I, I've always envisioned in my head was being this kind of off-road NASCAR. And this is what we have. So these are actual aero wheels. These are the actual wheels that they would use yeah, on a real NASCAR. These run on asphalt cars, dirt track cars. There's a bunch of different versions they make, but overall they're they're pretty much all the same. Uh, there's a couple little differences here and there, but they are real aero D windows. So we do have the yellow stripe and everything that was very important to me with the look. Um, but yeah, I'm really stoked at that. Big shout out to the guys over at Black Widow Exhaust. They hooked us up with a neighbor hater for this thing. Uh, and it sounds sick. So it, it, the car was always straight piped with a two inch. So cut that off, put a two and a half inch bend and tip on it with their muffler. Gives it a lot more tone at hard RPM, which you guys will hear. So um, pretty happy with that. Wanted to thank the guys at Optima Batteries once again for working with me. Optima, Falcon Tire, Black Widow exhaust these guys are awesome so that's really the reason that you have a car that looks like this in front of me revolution auto design for doing the wrap on it and sean behind the camera and me for doing the paint right yep yeah yeah oh yeah came out pretty good so backyard paint job can't get any better than that exactly also went ahead and i put on my yacht club edition all white door cards big pimping big pimping yep so you can see the inside of it's filthy from our desert trip which you guys will see in here in a minute we have pretty much a red, white, and blue theme going on in the interior. So we have the white door card, so we're gonna go ahead and do a red carpet here pretty soon. But you can see she's loaded down. It's coming pretty good, I'm happy with it. Not bad for a car that I have a quarter of the money at every other pre-rider in the desert, and uh, I'll go right next to them all day long. Pretty great. Try me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, big thank you to all the companies that support me on the car, and uh, I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of the video. Go take it out to King of the Hammer. <laughs>
Sounds fire right now. Oh, it does! Fly, At 3 a.m. too! Nice. Nice. Proper. This dude's over here, like, I go that way. Mind you, on like the side of this cliff, and it's just like, trail usually goes that way and up. It's like, I'm just gonna go this way. That makes sense. Oh, now he done did it. I'm winning, guys.
just rolled up. Man, I got the best damn timing in the world. There's Marty in the wagon. <laughs> Going around him. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. What, per what impeccable timing you have. <laughs> I just got here. Perfect. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. And shoot. Nice one, genius. It happens. It doesn't show how bad the dent is. There we go. When you go from two inch to two and a half and then you smash it back down to two inch, it's fine, right? It looks sick though. <laughs> Making our way over to the next spot. This is Jackhammer. Sounds so much worse than it is, I promise. Okay, that one kind of hurt. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Not that too was bad. Rough. Dude, do you see it up top, the whoops, and they just started to get gnarly? This thing is just like, bam, bam, bam. All I saw was this. Oh, you saw that? All I saw was that. Yeah, I, I felt all of it. Felt great. Good. Yeah, yeah. Smash it pretty good? Yeah, how about you? Uh, as comfy as can be. Oh, yeah. I don't feel a thing. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. What Other than the little bit of clunking in the <laughs> left front end. <laughs> you can see it's rubbing just a little bit. Nothing, nothing I can't fix. It's kind of kind of fixing itself as I drive it more. Over here, this damn exhaust is just getting wrecked. It's all right. There's plenty more where that came from. We can always build another one. Look at this, look at this K20 right here. Or C10 or whatever the hell. I don't know, Chevy's. I think it's sick. That's funny. So yeah, so the guys will basically, if I remember right, come i don't know the orientation they might come out down from this side here or they'll come down from this ravine here and go up are they going up or down come this way down and then up there. up and around yep that's kind of my thought that's how it was last time oh yeah cars look good cars running good cars riding like crap like usual but it's a lincoln town car what can you ask for it <laughs> all right guys just rolled up to the top of this hill i actually took a photo of this car last year in the same exact spot when it didn't have uh, the paint and the body and the wheels and the mufflers and all the spares and uh, any of this stuff This was all very rough So kind of coming back a year later and seeing really just how much the car is kind of transformed was super cool uh, To see and it just kind of goes to show with a little bit of work, you know, you can make something super cool So I'm stoked with this thing. It, you know, it's coming out really really good It just needs a little bit better suspension other than that I think really I'm not gonna change too much on it in the interior I'll do a carpet kit and that's really about it, but this thing kicks ass the way that it is, you know you know, with the quick release and the nice interior, the stereo and the AC and the heater, can't really complain. It's a pretty nice unit. I like it a lot. And it definitely can turn some heads out here, which is super sick. So we're gonna go ahead and put this thing down into the uh, Optima area, you know, leave it in there for a little while and then go cruise around in the Jeeps for a little bit. But overall, I think this came out pretty, pretty good. So go ahead and shoot a couple photos of this thing, but you can just see how big this area is. We are out there. Just came from over there and drove basically all, all the way over here. And you can see this is a uh, beaten up baby, that's for sure. <laughs> I was like, because I was already sliding a lot, and I was like, motors in it like size wise it has a, a 302 with 351 heads and oh okay i thought it was a four something for a tall deck no okay and it's still got a t5 in it yeah dude that's sick well it's not a, it's a tko actually oh really yeah. like a 500 600 six uh 550 or okay yeah. that's that's rad dude this is cool is it so you short cross link the rear did you use the original like lower arm mount yeah oh that's yeah. sick we beefed it up yeah but just use the, the original lower mount <laughs> that's so badass yeah, they, we lengthened the arms two inches. Yeah. The car, car needed to be a little longer to perform better. What shocks are you? 
Fox. Is this that a 2-0? It's like a 9-inch travel shock. I'm not sure what the level is. It's like a low-end shock right now. Wow, this is sick. <clears throat> so did you guys make this, this front clip? Yeah. So you molded it, and like yeah. clay molded it, and yeah. then pulled the mold from it? Well, uh, I'm a roofer, and okay. I uh, have people that can foam. Yeah. So they foam me, they foam the fenders, and then we shaved them and Got molded it. them. And you actually, so you have plug molds, and you can remake these. Yeah, I can make new fenders. That's sick. Yeah. And was there a like a quarter panel like flare too? Well, at one point. We're. Uh, it's funner to go drive it than to develop it. Yeah, <laughs> so no, I agree. We're always going out to have fun instead of upgrading it. Wow, this is nice. It's so we have, a, we have a 347 ready for this too. Okay. Um, and the aluminum heads will make it perform a little better. Oh yeah, big time. Lighter, oh, so. you got an electric water pump on there? Nice. Yeah. There you go. Better power steering upgrade, no more forged winding power steering. Yeah, well, I, all these things are necessary because the radiator, you know, the radiator used to go down yep. and it would bite sand. Or oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, we had to angle it back. back and then you have to lose the pulleys and then you had to modify all this stuff. So. Oh wow, yeah. And I want the motor to just power the car. So we got literally a power steering alternator. That's it. Done. Perfect. It actually like looks super good too. And you guys painted it. That's not a wrap. That looks good. Now there was this young girl that was helping me build the car. Yeah. And uh, she painted half of it. I painted the other half. I was teaching her to paint. Oh cool. So you guys have a shop? Yeah. I mean, is, that, is that your shop on your hat? Yeah. Dank fab? Yeah. That's sick, dude. Where are you guys out of? Riverside. Oh, okay. Nice. We're from San Diego. Okay. That's cool, dude. This is so badass. This thing made it up here, no problem, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. It goes amazing places. I mean, it only weighs, it's got to weigh 3,500 pounds, maybe. Maybe, maybe lighter. 2,700. 20, Still? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I that's, gutted it. That's like what a Fox one, a sock one like, like The cage out of the way, but then we gutted a lot of stuff out, you know? Okay. But yeah, that's yeah. I guess there is not like nothing left in it. Like the doors. Used to, oh yeah, I didn't realize the doors are ho the doors hollowed used out. To probably weigh like 90 pounds. Yeah. Now they're like uh, nothing maybe there 20. <laughs> yeah, no glass, no nothing. Wow. That's <laughs> hell yeah, dude. This is sick. Yeah, he's, Did he's you? Got a town car before. Yeah, I have an off-road Lincoln in the Optima area. Okay. I built two spares out the back, full free runner. Oh, okay. Um, did you build, build I think the cane? Yeah, it's got the Bill Elliott livery on it. So, did you guys build this cane member, or is this an aftermarket no, that's cane a QA1. member? Oh shit, it is a QA1. Oh, it's a QA, a modified QA1. Yeah. yeah. And then their lower arms too? Yeah, they're extended three inches. Oh, you just cut them and sleeved them? Yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. And it's just a regular coil lever, huh? Wow. It's, well, it's a coil lever kit from like a drag, a drag racing kit. You know? Oh, so it snaps up. and It's actually got travel. Uh, well, we use the drag racing springs because they're. Softer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we put a stiff spring, it bends the strut. So it actually rides pretty good in the front. Oh yeah. Wow. It does good through like it doesn't do good in a whoopty doos. Yeah. Yeah, my my car has uh, the same problem. Any, anything else, it, it goes nicer. Is this a 33? <laughs> yeah. 33 inch tire. Wow, that's freaking rad. Like the the upper pieces are all yeah. they're supposed to be on the top of the shock tower. Oh, and gotcha. We just reversed them, put them underneath. Oh. And put a one inch extension and then it gives it the three inch lift. Got it. Okay, then, interesting. And then see that uh, piece right here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah subframe spacer. Yeah, subframe spacer to. Okay, that, spacer or that's why the camera looks a little different. I was looking at it, I was like, why and does it look so time, different? To accommodate the big tires, we had to move it forward three inches. Got so it. The, oh, so you don't hit the hit the body. Yeah, yeah. So the wheelbase is pushed back. So went three and a half inches. <laughs> Just a little bit every yeah. time. So you're three inches forward in the front and then what, like three in the back? Two in the back. Okay, so yeah. Total. Yeah. It looks perfect. Yeah, I don't want to go, you know, I kept the height yeah. low as possible. So yeah, it looks like a car. Body roll and all well, that it stuff. still looks like a car. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, that's wow. I, I'm into performance, I'm not total yeah. looks, but it's yeah. got to perform well. Yeah, and it seems like it does. I mean, you made it all the way up here. This is a sandy hill too. Yeah. So, but yeah, the, uh, like I said, I normally build street cars. Yeah, that's how I am. Um, like we're doing a twin turbo Coyote uh, 65 Mustang. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Mini tubbed and yeah. it's, it's like a little road course car. Okay, okay. That's badass. This is rad. Well, thank you for sharing, man. All right. Hell yeah. That was so badass. I love how like you can tell he drives it and beats the crap out of that oh, car. Oh yeah. 
Like you built it, it was super pretty at one point and then just absolutely smashes on it. So a lot of you guys have sent me on Instagram that car. I've gotten text messages and Snapchats from a bunch of my friends that sent me that thing. Like, dude, this thing is sick. And there's very little of it out there on the internet, but there is like a select like three pictures and videos of it. And I've been getting bombarded with them. So I'm actually stoked to actually found that thing. I did not think I was gonna find it out here. And uh, nevertheless, I think it's super badass. So it'd be cool to do a build like that in the future, maybe with a 4i Fox, but I don't know. We might do the autocross deal with my black one and then link up with them and go autocrossing with an off-road one and an actual autocross one make a fun video so let me know if you guys want to see that you open that other puff yet? this is what we're dealing with right now there you go now you can see just how dusty it is in my car and i can see oh that's it just cleared up and i really i couldn't see 10 feet in front of me so our desert trip as you can see by the way Let's get cut a little bit short. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get back in San Diego. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, the vents. Hey, what you got there? <laughs> Woo! There's three left. Hell yeah, let me get my... Let's see. Well, just roll up the gas station. Typical Jeep things. Seems like it looks a little better. But uh, you can see it was uh, silty. Silty, silty out. But uh, yeah, car looks good, did good. Pretty happy with everything considering all things considered, I guess. But uh, the exhaust is definitely busted. Oh yeah. Yeah, ripped that clean out of it. Nice. That's great. But yeah, as you can see by my hair and my face and everything, we're covered in silt, we're covered in dirt, we're dusty as hell, so we're gonna go take these things back, get some actual real food, and uh, oh nice, another 300D, there's Marty. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> make our way back to San Diego, got about, about a two and a half, three hour drive, nothing too crazy, so. Overall, I think around 350 to 400 miles total driving, so pretty good, can't ask for anything more. Looks like an off-road Buick. He was taking some photos up here. He just drove up this very extreme class five trail. Two spare tires. Watch this fucking guy. Fuck yeah, dude. I think I'm gonna go do those donuts again. All right guys, so we're back from Johnson Valley. Uh, King of the Hammers 2023. It was an absolutely awesome trip. Cannot say anything better about this car. This car did 360 miles from here to there on the dirt, the sand, the boulders, everything else. As you see my droopy exhaust, I built, spent a little bit of time building. I pretty much broke it in two hours on the dirt because I did a hill climb that was full of rocks. Cheese grated the underside of the car and just caught the corner of my exhaust and broke the hanger clean off. So that will need to get fixed this week. But nevertheless, the car did fantastic. I wanted to give a massive thank you to the guys at Falcon Tire, as well as uh, Black Widow Exhaust and Optima Batteries for allowing us to put this car together. Because the whole design and theme behind this car was an off-road NASCAR. And as you guys can see, I think we nailed it pretty well. So really, really excited about that. I highly recommend these Falcon tires if you guys are looking for a good off-road tire. I didn't even realize when I dropped these things off at a tire shop, when they came back, they were at 42 PSI. And so I went to, from here on the street, all the way up in the sand, dirt, rocks, gravel, and mud at 42 PSI, and I never got this car stuck. And that was quite literally beach sand in a lot of spots. So uh, these tires really, really work well. And on top of that, they're quiet on the highway. I was able to do 75, 80 miles an hour up there, 
and not hear a bunch of tire noise coming through because I have no sound editing and no insulation in this car. So it was actually surprising at how quiet these were, especially compared to the tires that I had on it previously. So, um, and on top of that, our Black Widow exhaust, our little neighbor hater on the back gave this thing a good amount of tone. So up in high RPM, it sounds a lot better now. Um, it's not just a straight pipe growl, it's more of an actual tone, which is nice. So the stainless muffler that's on this thing, just like my truck has that nice high RPM screen, which I love. Uh, we will be doing a more full two and a half inch exhaust all the way back. Probably now that I have this thing busted and I gotta fix it, I might as well do that. So expect that in the future. Uh, but yeah, wanted to give a massive thank you to the guys at Optima Batteries, Falcon Tire, and Black Widow. And thank you guys for watching this video because it was a lot of fun making it. Um, we tried getting as many clips as we could with this thing, but the second day in, it became an absolute dust storm. We were not able to see really 10 feet in front of us. So when we're trying to get clips and videos of this car, it really didn't make any sense because you wouldn't be able to see it. So we shot what we could. We think we got a good enough footage to make a decent video. We'll definitely be taking this car back out this weekend actually to shoot a new video. So expect that. Let me know what you guys want to see with this car. Like the video if you did enjoy. Let me do think down in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to see us do with this thing. If we should take it to a valet or some sort of really cool supercar show and Pike Park it next to some Ferraris, I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, and support me in the builds at 909speedcompany.com and grab yourself a shirt or a sticker. Those definitely go a long way in helping us and the build's going a lot faster. Faster. And I thank you guys a ton for watching today's video. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later guys.